All right, Ellie says, this is a value proposition question. Ellie says, why should I list with you? I'll pick a top producer in the area. Watch this. I think you guys all, you guys all wanna laugh. Let me grab Ellie, I saw her. There she is. Unmute yourself, Ellie. So any, how's it going, Ellie? Can you hear me? Good. Anytime somebody says that question, why should I work with you? I always respond this way. I'm not so sure you should. Always. Always, always, always. Because that is the definition of bait. A prospect throws that bait out there. The untrained salesperson that's desperate, attached to the, the outcome, that um, is super, super, you know, scarcity mindset, they start to get into, let me convince this person. Well, because, you know, I really care. I give, no, 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 no. Ellie, I'm not really so sure that you should yet. What I'm suggesting is that we simply have one meeting. And at that meeting, Ellie, I'm gonna share with you all the reasons that you and I potentially should work together. And at the end of that meeting, Ellie, you and I can simply, it'll be so easy to determine whether or not working together makes sense or not. Do you see that that's reasonable? And that is, dude, I'm telling you, when you can do that, the, the sellers changes their tune immediately. Because all we're looking to do is give somebody more than one option. It's very difficult for a consumer to say that more options is bad. It's very difficult. So that's how we get the appointment, is we're selling, looking at other options. And then when I tell that person, at the end of our meeting, it's gonna be very simple to decide if working together makes sense for you and I or not. And you can make that decision. Is that fair? Using Brandon Peters' favorite word, the consumer's like, I mean, it's like the, it's like the little magic script that works almost every time. And Ellie, that's how I would respond to that every single time. To let that prospect know, maybe we shouldn't. And that's called a pattern interrupt. They're not used to people responding that way telling them I, I don't I'm not desperate I'm not gonna sell you right and so that throws them way off their game and all you need to do is say what I recommend is this us to simply have a meeting I'll share with you some potential things for you to consider why it might make sense for us to work together and then at the end of that meeting you can figure out if working with me makes sense or to your point Maybe you should hire a different agent, but after that meeting, that will absolutely be clear. Fair enough, and you use the fair enough, that's very reasonable types of language patterns that most people respond well to. Cheryl says, is that script in our scripts? Um, it'll be in the new script book. So it's almost, that part's gonna be released by the end of the year. You guys will all have the new reverse selling script and playbook that has all these things in there, okay? Literally line for line verbatim. Why, Cheryl, did you like that? I love that script. <laughs> it, it, it just, it's a real easy to respond to that, you know? Yeah, so good. It, you'll have it very soon, okay? It'll be like my holiday gift to you guys. Be packaged up nice, all that.